Today we are performing a pig eye wet lab using the dual air 10 millimeter eclipse amniotic membrane disc from Optologix. We will be demonstrating the application process of the amniotic membrane for ophthalmic uses on the ocular surface. The items suggested when performing this procedure in clinic are the anesthetic drops, a soft cell sponge to dry the ocular surface for better adherence of the membrane. This sponge can also be used to dry the bandage contact lens before application over the membrane. Smooth tip forceps to allow for easy placement of the amniotic membrane, the eclipse amniotic membrane, and finally, the bandage contact lens. First, depending on surgeon preference, a lid speculum can be used to hold the eye open or the technician can hold it open manually while the procedure is being done. Apply the anesthetic drops after opening the eyelid. After applying the drops, have the technician or surgeon use the soft cell sponge to dry the ocular surface. Also have the technician dry out the bandage contact lens with the soft cell sponge. Both of these steps are extremely important as this will make the application of the membrane easier and will ensure adherence to the surgical site. Next, take the Eclipse amniotic membrane pouch and open it for the application process. Only open the pouch when you are ready to place the graft in the eye. Use the smooth tip forceps to grasp the membrane and place it on the surgical site being treated. The Eclipse can be applied in either direction with no orientation issues. After in place, take your soft cell sponge and smooth out any raised edges of the graft. Make sure all edges of the disc are smooth and in place on the ocular surface. Finally, take your preferred bandage contact lens and place it over the amniotic membrane to create a barrier or bandage to keep the membrane from migrating. Using the soft cell sponge, smooth out any bubbles that may be under the surface of the contact lens. The surgeon can then place an antibiotic drop over the eye if preferred. Using this antibiotic drop will not affect the properties or healing process of the amniotic membrane.